Hello, welcome to today's video. Thank you for clicking. Today we're big, we will be talking about another numeric measurement for one quantitative variable called deviation. So deviation measures the distance that observations fall from the mean. So it has a nice generic formula. It's x sub i minus x bar. Now x sub i just means that you're gonna run through every observation. So if it was counting where you were in the data set, x sub one would be the first location, two would be the second location, et cetera. This just means do it for every observation. And then if you remember, x bar was what we called the sample mean, sample mean. So x bar is the notation we use for the sample. Whereas if you remember, mu is the notation we use for the population mean. So this is going to be x bar, which is the sample mean. Now, when you calculate deviation, what you may notice because of this formula is it's measuring the distance that values fall from the mean, but it also would be measuring the direction. So if the deviation came out to be positive, that means the observation is above the mean. And if the deviation came out to be negative, that means the observation is below the mean. So just by the very nature of what the mean does and how it's calculated, we expect to see both negative and positive values because the mean is trying to be in the center of all of the observations in our data set. So we'll have some negative, which indicates that those observations are below the mean, and we'll have some positive, which indicates that those observations are above the mean. Now, if you remember, we were looking at the number of Twitter posts, and in an earlier video, I actually calculated the mean for us, and we found that x bar, so our sample mean, was 6.71, 6.71. So now, if we were to calculate deviations, I'm gonna do that for each of these observations. So x sub i minus x bar, or each observation minus, the mean, so I have 6.71 minus five, that's that first observa observation, and that comes out to be negative uh, 1.71. My second observation is seven, and I'm still subtracting the mean from that, so that comes out to be 0.29. Again, negative means that it's below the mean, positive means that it's above the mean. I have one minus 6.71, and that gives me a deviation of negative 5.71. I have uh, four minus 6.71, and that gives me a deviation of negative 2.71. Then I have 10 minus 6.71, and this one's going to be positive, again, because it's above the mean, and that's 3.29. And then I just have two more observations. I have 12, which would give me a deviation of 5.29, and then I have eight, which gives me a deviation of 1.29. Now, if you were to add all of these deviations up, so if you add negative 1.71 to 0.29 to negative 5.71 to negative 2.71 to 3.29, you would notice that they sum to zero. And intuitively, that should make sense now that you're maybe thinking about it because all of these observations created this mean, and so that being in the center would make the distance that all of the values collectively fell from the mean equal to zero. So deviation by itself is not going to be that valuable. You will notice though in future videos when we calculate these measurements called variance and standard deviation where we use this measurement, how we're going to adjust for the fact that this includes both direction and distance. So watch future videos so you can see this measurement in practice. See you there.